Canadian Bulldog from Wrestling Merchandise and Memories, that's merchandiseandmemories.com, and today we're talking about 15 wrestling talk shows that you totally forgot about. Just before we get started, wanted to let you know that MerchandiseAndMemories.com has more than 100 unique and conversation starting top 50 lists on its site. Check it out at bit.ly backslash top 50 lists. Now, many wrestling fans fondly remember classic talk show segments such as Piper's Pit, Ms. TV, The Highlight Reel, and The Brother Love Show, but here are some that you may not remember quite as well. In the summer of 1986, WWE Hall of Famer The Magnificent Morocco was asked to substitute for Jesse the Body Ventura's body shop while he was filming a movie. Known as Magnificent Moments, the talk show used Ventura's body shop set and was used to further Rowdy Roddy Piper's big return. In 1989, WWE Hall of Famer Terry Funk had a backstage interview segment in WCW called Funk's Grill, where he confronted babyfaces such as Brian Pillman and the Steiner Brothers while helping out heels such as Cactus Jack and Gary Hart. In 2006, WWE's relaunch of ECW included a talk show segment by former school teacher Matt Stryker, who played off his previous career to bring fans into his classroom each week, taunting ECW originals such as Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman while supporting the heels. Another talk show from WWE CW was The Abraham Washington Show, a spoof of late night talk shows complete with leather couches and a sidekick in the form of WWE Hall of Famer Tony Atlas, who is constantly laughing out loud. The following talk show has been paid for by the New World Order. In 1998, WCW was preparing for a feud with Tonight Show host Jay Leno. And as a result, WWE Hall of Famer Eric Bischoff replicated Leno's Tonight Show set and had NBC staff fax him the previous night's monologue so that Bischoff could mock the talk show with his NWO nightcap segment. During the early days of NWA TNA, when the company aired on weekly pay-per-view, Disco Inferno hosted a talk show segment called Jive Talkin' with Disco Inferno, in which he interviewed some of the promotion's wilder characters such as the Dups and even an unmasked Shark Boy. In 2019 and 2020, Alexa Bliss hosted A Moment of Bliss, in which she interviewed everyone from EC3 to the NWO to Ronda Rousey and asked the tough questions. While Blackjack's Barbecue sounds more like a place you could get a great dinner, it was actually a talk show in the mid-1980s hosted by WWE Hall of Famer Blackjack Mulligan. On one memorable episode, Mulligan insulted Bobby Heenan, Ken Patera, and Big John Studd and began being beaten up until Andre the Giant made the save. Dr. Britt Baker DMD hosted a talk show segment on AEW Dark between 2020 and 2021. Her guests on The Waiting Room included SCU, Cody Rhodes, and Ricky Starks. Café de René actually sounds like another great place to grab dinner, but in 2004, it was the talk show segment hosted by former La Resistance member René Dupree. The show had an elaborate set, including a table for two, a French poodle, an accordion player, and even the French flag. And today, Café de René is the name of his own podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Paul Heyman. But back when he was Paul E. Dangerously, he used his gift of gab to host a backstage talk show segment called The Danger Zone in WCW and later briefly in ECW. While the Ambrose Asylum was very short-lived, Dean Ambrose was brilliant in his understated and unorthodox interview style. The most memorable segment was the final one when Chris Jericho destroyed the set's beloved houseplant, Mitch. Although most wrestling fans remember Playboy Buddy Rose as the cartoonish character behind the Blow Away Diet, he was actually a top heel for many years in Portland. Rose was also a great talker and was given a talk show called The Rose Garden during the late 1980s. 
1998, the WWF was about to overtake WCW in the ratings war, and WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley was at the heart of that with his newly turned heel character, Dude Love. The Love Shack was a little old place where the dude could host his talk show. Okay, I'm still working on the lyrics there. And finally, what began as an exclusive segment for WWE.com in 2008 turned into a very well-received talk show segment for then ECW stars The Miz and John Morrison. Heaping insults on other members of the WWE in both backstage and in-ring segments, The Dirt Sheet was a talk show that broke all the rules. How many of those wrestling talk shows do you remember? Are there any really obscure ones we missed? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Wrestling Merchandise and Memories for much more content.